um, allowing me to speak this evening. Um, my name is Terry Michael. I'm an advocate um, for teachers and students. I'm, I'm a member of the Badass Teacher Association, 36,000 teachers from across this country. I head up the Alabama chapter also. We have hundreds here in Alabama. Um, I have a question. How many of the bills, policies, amendments brought to you concerning education are brought to you by an educator? How many brought to you have corporations that stand to make thousands of dollars from them? I am here asking that we put the focus back on education, real education, not this fabricated idea of failure, teachers, and tenure, testing and data that has been sold to us. Let's look at the Accountability Act and choice and charters. Charters are the answer. Kids shouldn't be penalized by their zip codes. That's what's been sold to us. In truth, tell the kids in Hoover, at Bob Jones, at Grissom that charters are the answer. I'm not sure they would agree. Their schools aren't failing. That leads us to say the kids in the failing schools are punished by zip codes. I say no, the only choice here is the choice that legislators and administrators make that punish those kids in the high poverty zip codes by their refusal to recognize that poverty plays a role. Every failing school in Alabama is a high poverty school. Stop ignoring that fact. Start making choices as legislators that will give every child a quality public school in their zip code. Choices that will bring their parents permanent full-time jobs at wages that are above poverty levels. But most of all, listen to your educators before passing legislation that affects our students. In an effort to do this, I've started a new movement called um, the Underground Educators Network because I feel that um, you guys do not hear the truth from teachers. Um, so here is, uh, I do have some letters here that I'm going to pass to you. I'm going to ask that she pass them around to you in just a moment. From one Huntsville teacher, thank you for coming tonight and thank you for listening. Not just listening, but hearing. You see, teachers aren't being heard because they aren't talking. Ask yourself why teachers aren't talking about the most dynamic change in the American education system in history, Common Core. Common Core, a system of standards-based education reform, a system that promotes the over-testing of students as young as five years old, a system of high-stakes tests that is driving experienced seasons teachers out of the field at record numbers, a system that is causing frustration, tears, and anxiety in our youngest students and a sense of failure among parents and teachers alike, a system that has as a reporting tool, a standards-based report card that neither parents nor teachers really understand. A report card that teachers were provided a 30-minute training to grasp. A report card that cannot be entered into the current IMAS system because it is not compatible. A report card that a single teacher had to develop because no one in the administration knew how to begin to tackle this disorganized, arbitrary grading system. An administration that refers to teachers as feedstock. An administration that operates a dual bias system within power and managed schools, an administration that distributes letters to certified, highly qualified, experienced teachers in underachieving low socioeconomic schools, telling them that they are not effective teachers, an administration that publicly ridicules parents and teachers who dare to question. So why aren't teachers talking? Some are, some are leaving the field, most cannot risk losing their jobs. And yes, that is a real possibility. Teachers are pleasers. It is in our DNA to make things work. That's why we don't give up on children. Please don't mistake our implementation of Common Core standards with being advocates for Common Core. As I reflect on my 25 years in education, I'm concerned and disheartened at what Common Core is doing to the educational process and the effect it is having on this generation. That is, once again, a Huntsville uh, school teacher. I will be gathering more letters, and as time goes on, you will be hearing more from the Underground Educators Networks, which is our teachers. <laughs>